I'm going to describe how to make a fishy, and it uses the same weaving technique, the basic weaving technique that we did with the ice cream cone. So make sure that you look at how to do the ice cream cone before you start the fishy, uh, because in that one we, we explained a little bit more carefully. All right, so for the fishy, it's gonna use three balloons, and the first balloon you can inflate, leaving a good amount of tail, about a good hand and a half worth of tail. Give it a burp. This is going to be uh, the front head of the fishy. You need to make a small bubble with an ear twist. And now you're gonna do three sections, three small sections, about the same size, one, two, and three. And for this third section, you need to roll it between the first two that you made so it stays exactly as it is. And that's gonna be the face of the fishy. Now you go ahead and get your second balloon, different color. This pattern, this sculpture really looks nice with alternating colors. Leave a good amount of tail, about a good hand and a half. Give it a burp, tie it off. Take the knot and wrap it into that ear twist that you made. So wrap it around, around, and maybe between the balloons, just so that it stays in place nice and sturdy. <clears throat> now, to start the weaving, you're gonna make the small bubble. with the alternate color, right? Small bubble, and this, you're gonna make the length a little bit longer than the first bubble that you made, and attach it to the bottom, which also has a small bubble. A Little bit longer, but this will be the second layer of this fish. Take it back up. This is gonna be the same size. You want these to be the same size. You see that? Push this underneath the first one you made, just like that, so that you have your second layer. One, two. And now, with the alternate color, make a small bubble. Make this one a little bit bigger than the first. Right, a little longer. And it's gonna attach to the small bubble at the top. Come down the other side, same size. Twist it off and roll it under, just like that. And see, there you go. I'm gonna make one more layer with this leftover piece. Small bubble. Now this is gonna be a very small balloon because you're coming to the end of the fishy. Attach it to the very small bubbles there. The final bubble, approximately the same size, see that? Roll it under. And now you're gonna finish off this fishy by bringing the two sections together like this. Give it a twist. And let's go ahead and make little flower petals. So bring this end here, end of this one color here, little bubble, bring it down, spin it around, another flower petal, spin it around, twist it around, and see how we have this leftover piece here? This is gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and break that off. And I'm gonna use the remaining section for the flippers. So give it a twist, break it off. You can let go of that air, retie that section that you broke off. So now you have that little section. And you're gonna put this section, squeeze it right between two of the other sections. It doesn't matter where, a little further back, a little forward, it's up to you. 
Just push it right between the layers, just like this. Give it a good push. So you have flippers on the front. And now, for the final piece, I'm going to add little eyes for the fishy. Remember how to make the eyes? One length of balloon. Put it in half. For these eyes, I'm going to make it using ear twists, two ear twists. Take the eyes, and you're going to roll them right between underneath one of the sections, just like this. So that there's one eyeball on either side of the head. And for the final touch of this fishy, we're going to draw fish eyes. Here, little fishy, 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 fishy. And that's how you make a fish that is woven.